identity is everything when it comes to, to habit change as well. It's such a, a keystone way to, to become a different person, to up level your habits is, is not to be like, I'm, I'm not smoking cigarettes. He's like, no, I don't smoke cigarettes. Like I'm not a person that smokes cigarettes. It's not like an intermediary thing. It's like, no, this is me. This is me. This is who I am. And then like so much action kind of stems from that. Yeah. That's such an effective tool. I, I use it all the time and it's like pretty crazy because it just incorporates so many aspects, right? Like the, you say that to someone and then now you have uh, like social pressure, social pressure to like avoid cognitive dissonance, which everybody hates. Um, yeah, it's, su it's super effective. I got to start using that more. I believe like you don't rise to the levels of your goals. You fall to the level of your systems. It's all about that identity. I'm not taking advantage of that identity, like of, of who I could be, of who I know I could be and who I've been in the past. So that's what I'm really working on. And it's tough. It's easier said than done. Yeah. Yeah. I feel that it's, it's, it's like this gnawing for me, at least it feels like this gnawing in the background. That's like, no, you could, you could do more here. You could do a little bit better. And it's just like, I'm, I'm trying, but then it's like, are you trying? It's like, where, where's that? Like, what are you trying to do? And like, where's that switch to turn on? It's, it's such a fascinating sort of inner game. Um, at least that, that part of life is, is I'm so fascinated by it. Yeah, me too. I mean, like, that's really like, I'm, I'm a very extroverted person. I spend like, I love talking, I love personalizing, but like most of my day is just spent with that internal dialogue. Like you're not doing enough. Like you're not doing it right. And I know it's true. And people are like, oh, don't be so hard on yourself. I'm like, I'm not being hard on myself. I know this is true. Like, uh, <laughs> if, if someone were to fall on my day, they'd be like, dude, what are you doing? Like, you are not taking advantage of the opportunities in front of you. And man, that just makes it so much worse. Because like, if your biggest fear is not reaching your potential, not getting to that level of self-actualization, and then you're presented with these opportunities and you don't take them, then it's like, really, like, what are you doing? I genuinely believe for me, it comes down to like, not enough alignment. I do believe that I've been getting closer to alignment, right? Um, I'm not the type of guy that can have work-life balance. I can't do work in one aspect and then go live another life. Like they have to be completely aligned. You know, like I work, I do my best work on weekends. I spend all weekends working because that's when I do the best. Like it, I have no, I have no work-life balance. Like I can't, it's not going to be the way that I'm going to achieve my full potential. So I really just think it comes down to alignment and, um, Maybe I like, I think every time that happens to me, I just like get up and reset. I'll go move somewhere else. I'll like, you know, switch up my, whatever business model I'm running. Um, so I think it might be time for that. I don't think it's going to be the solution, but I do know that like a new person, like moving to a new place is the best way to start new habits, to build a new routine because it's uncomfortable. Everything's uncomfortable. Everything is new. And when things are uncomfortable as a baseline, doing other things that are uncomfortable or abnormal are really pretty easy. Because you have no, like, it's it's tabula rasa, it's blank slate. It's a lot harder to start a new habit when you're in the same apartment you've been in for the last six months, right? It's a lot harder to start building a reading habit on the couch that you watch TV on. So, like, if you move to a new place, new people, new environment, new you, get a new haircut, right? Put on some new clothes. It's a lot easier to, like, change up your routines, your habits, and your identity. Yeah, pulling up pulling up the roots, getting getting yourself in a new plot, and then just feeling out feeling out where, where are the real nutrients in life? Where, 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 where are the life ways that are really gonna be nourishing me, who I am in this moment and, and who I wanna become, not who I have been and, and kind of killing off that old Noah, the, the old self that had been like holding, holding it back. It's, it's such a difficult thing to do, but also it's doable. It's hundred percent doable. It's so difficult. It's so difficult. And like, there's people that can do it without, like, it's so much easier to change your external environment than it is to change your internal psyche. Right. So like, that's why I started this whole travel thing. It's cause like, it's really easy to change who you are when you go up and move to like a new place, new culture, new identity, new language, you know, like change your name, right? Like I'll, I'll probably move there and I'll go by like Philly Berto or something. And like, it's so much easier <laughs> to change it. Like grow a mustache. Like, you know, like I said, get a new haircut and uh, it's so much easier, so much easier. It sounds like you're using travel as a biohack. It, it is. Like, it is the biggest life hack for me because anytime that I get complacent or I don't like the habits that I'm building, I'm like, okay, cool. I'm just going to go move somewhere for three weeks. Right? I'm going to go move somewhere for a month. I'm just going to like try. It's like, 
I don't see it as like changing my identity. I see it as just trying out a new way of living. Like I'm going to try to be this type of person this month. Right. So like, who do I want to be? And I'll just write down like, okay, cool. Like I want to really be like a, a, a really hard worker this month. I want to be super regimented. I want to be very composed. I want to be very stoic. So I'll be this person this month. And then I'll try it at the end. I'm like, okay, cool. Here's the things that I liked about that, that I can incorporate. It's like more of my habits and my overall identity. Here's the things that didn't work so well. Next week, it's like, all right, I'm just going to go fully loose this week. Like, I'm going to be that guy that like, you know, like talks to everyone, meets everybody, like says yes to every social opportunity and just like very easy going. Um, and then I'll just like identify what worked with that and what didn't. So that's what I try. And like the best way to do that is just like going to a new place. And that traveling is a real burst of novelty, which can be a catalyst for neurogenesis too, right? You're just developing all these new neural pathways, rewriting old ones, pruning and, and, and growing and blooming. And you, you must feel that at like a cellular level. You just feel alive. I do, man. I love that you say that. And I think, you know, you talk about a lot, a lot with training, right? Because it's the same thing with training. You have to switch it up. Your body and brain is really, really good at acclimating to whatever environment you're, environment you're in. It's going to get super efficient. And it's like, okay, cool. I'm good here. I don't need to grow anymore. I don't need to like expend extra biological energy to improve. When you go to a new place, like you feel it, man. Like I feel it. I feel it in the way that I light up with my environment. Like my eyes open up. I'm so much more creative. I'm so much more driven. I'm just so much more ambitious because it's like novelty, stimulation. Like that's what humans need. That's what humans evolved to, to desire for survival, right? Like we evolved like to be nomadic, to move to new environments. I think that's why we became like the most dominant species on the planet. Mm -hmm.